Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, sexy, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, glorious things that you do to me so well here at Tiny's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Mmm. Oh. So good in the neighborhood Pisces. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Today, I'm going to go see my friend Ruby Lee play. Um, she is a multi, she's won a lot of stuff for her musical talents at such a young age and she is getting ready to go off and follow her music dream, musical dreams in California. Some big production company is flying her and her daddy out there and I'm very, very excited about it. So anyway, enough about that. Tarot is now in session. Most Honorable Judge T.T. Dong presiding. You may all be seated. So. We're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy they'll be coming towards you, my beautiful loves, whatever the case is. We're going to get it, hit it, and quit it. Oh, Andrew Dice Clay, baby. He's still inside my body. <laughs> Show! And my ghost knee. Don't forget about my ghost knee. <laughs> oh, wow. I said, oh, no, it's Gilbert and Sal. <laughs> Jesus, no. Oh, good Lord. Oh, my goodness. This is looking painful today. <laughs> Better pull out my sword. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God, Pisces. Okay. The overall energy for your friend. Your, it's your friend here. <sighs> Thinking about you, right? Thinking about you. They've been stuck in a daydream. Dreaming about my bundle of joy. Yeah, they're daydreaming. Look at that. A knight of cups right underneath of it. Oh, boy, Pisces. So, new love, precious love. They're romanticizing you, your friend, your friend. We got good old ace of swords down here on the table. So, either you're going to get some clarity or this person's going to give you clarity. We'll find out. Four of Pentacles, this is the card of the miser. This is about stacking your chips, not sharing anything because you're afraid that something bad could happen and you don't want to lose out, okay? Seven of Wands here on the table. It's good old Gilbert and Sal. Gilbert's been there since the flood of 1993, building this flood wall, and he is very emotionally closed off. Here he is, oh my God. I've been here since 1993, and now it is 2023, and I've been growing bald here. I haven't taken a shower in a long time. I'm so dirty here. I gotta keep these emotions out. Look at that. All these emotions try to come up here to the surface and wreck, wreak havoc here. Oh, give me another sandbag, Sal. Um, I got one right here. You just shut up. Because I'm not going to pay you in those buy one, get one free Bangelani coupons if you keep talking back and disrespecting me. I don't want to deal with nobody's emotions. Oh, Jesus, criminy. Oh, my God, Pisces. <laughs> it's people, I swear. <laughs> All right. What, well, what's going on here with the seven of wands? Why is this person wanting to be emotionally closed off here? Why, what, do they, what do they think is going to happen here? <laughs> oh, well, what do they think is going to happen here? <laughs> King of Cups. Because <laughs> they they're afraid of sharing their emotions. This person is terrified of sharing any emotions. Oh, my God. Well, let's see. Why are they so... Why is this person so terrified of sharing emotions? Why are they so terrified of sharing emotions here, please? Because of the Seven of Swords here. Some kind of deception here. Okay. what What's this deception here about the Seven of Swords? Let's go top to bottom. What's the Seven of Swords about, please? 
something that they've manifested. So basically, they've manifested you here, okay? This is what they've done. They've literally manifested you, and then they're like, oh, I, I can't, I, I didn't know I was that powerful of a manifester. Oh, I deceived myself. I tricked, this person tricked themselves. Oh, they tricked themselves. They didn't realize how powerful sitting there since 1993 build a goddamn flood wall is. That's dedication. That takes commitment here. So this person, they didn't realize how powerful that they were. And they basically deceived themselves here. Oh my God. And they're shocked. So what are they not letting go of here with the Four of Pentacles? They're not letting go of a tower moment. Oh my God. And what's this tower moment about? Something happened here. Something happened here with the Queen of... This tower moment here. This could be about their finances. What's, about, what's this Queen of Pentacles here, please? It's their finances. Their finances. It's their finances. Something happened here. And it's, it, something happened with their finances. I've been getting a lot of financial problems here lately. So they're having a tower moment here about their finances here. Oh my God, Pisces. Oh, Jesus, these people. So basically, this connection is affected because of their finances here. Jesus. Well, why in the, fu why in the flipping hell do they show up here? I mean, come on. Let's see what this Ace of Swords is about. So, I don't know if this is they're going to be giving you clarity or they've gotten clarity. We're going to find out. Ace of Swords. Let's talk to that Ace of Swords, please. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay. Well, I'll tell you why the Ace of Swords is here. It's the devil. It's Royo Diablo. No, no, bueno, Pisces. I can't show you the devil card, unfortunately, here. But they're... Ha oh, God. This person here... There's clearly something here. They're, this person's receiving clarity here. They're receiving clarity that they're obs this person, they're very attracted to you, but they're obsessed about the timing here. There's something here. Why are they so obsessed about this Wheel of Fortune here? It's the money. It's got to be the money. Oh, it's, the ha it's, mm, it's their happiness here. Oh my God. So it's like they've gotten clarity in their brain that it is time to go after this connection. It is time. So what are they going to do? Are they going to go after this connection? Are they going to go after this connection? Is Pisces person going to go after this connection or what here? Yep, they are. Look at that. We got the king to the queen of pentacles. Thank God. I was like, what the hell are you even here for? If you're not going to go after the Pisces, then leave my goddamn reading, okay? Quit showing up here, okay? <laughs> it's time for you to get serious. Time. It's time. The time is now. Don't sit there for freaking 20,000 years and think about it. Time is always now, okay? So let's see what else this person wants to say to you. And then we're going to do my little, um, yeah, oh yeah, your questions. So, three questions when we're going to answer your questions with these little cards here, okay? So, come up with three questions while I'm getting the final messages here on what this person wants to tell you. Four of Pentacles, reiterating what I just said about their money. There's something here about their money. Okay. And there it is. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune right there, baby. So, this person's got clarity here that the time is now here, okay? We got the, yeah, the time is now. The time is now. Always the time is now. Four cups here. So this person here is feeling um, kind of emotionally lost here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get your questions, okay? So first question, Pisces. Pisces, your first question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. First question, Pisces, is you need more information? That's your first question. Pisces, your second question is this is the sign, okay? And your third question is reconsider. So, Pisces, tarot's been adjourned. You know what to do on the way out.